Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to our pro main event of the evening, David Feldman, promoter, Dave Feldman, matchmaker here at Harris Philadelphia Casino and Racetrack. Fighting out of the blue corner, weighing 181 pounds. He's fighting out of all-star MMA. A record of three wins against six losses. Shredrick, Chocolate Thunder, Goodridge. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, weighing 180 pounds. He's fighting out of Vanguard Gym. His record is five wins against three losses. From Woodbridge, Virginia, Elder El Psycho Ramos. Okay, here we are, main event of the evening at XFE. All right, this is the XFE main event. We're going over our instructions and our bout conduct in the back. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. If you choose to touch gloves, do so now. When the bell rings, you're fighting. Okay, both fighters touch gloves here. We're gonna have Ramos in the black Jocko trunks and the red gloves. We got Goodrich in the all blue, if I'm not mistaken, on the shorts and the gloves. Referee Bill Bookwater in good hands tonight. Fighters touch gloves. Nice outside leg kick there by Goodrich. Mm, does it again. Not much of a reaction there by Ramos. The southpaw there, Goodrich. Maybe Ramos was thinking takedown from the start. I don't know. He just looks composed. He looks like he's been here a million times. He, you know, uh, Goodrich isn't bringing anything new to the table that he hasn't seen. And so it's just another, another day in the office for uh, El Psycho, so to speak, but, but yeah. he's having a little trouble getting, getting that takedown. And both fighters uh, clinched up and now they're separate again. You see the southpaw there is Goodrich. He did throw that big left hand. He likes setting it up with that outside leg kick. And as I mentioned before, Ramos doesn't seem too concerned about it. Oh, nice job there by going with the outside leg kick and then the big head kick. Again, Ramos is kind of content to stay in the pocket. Paul that jab a little bit. Nice, nice lead left hand there by Goodrich and Jackson Galk. I like what I see in out of Sheldrick Goodrich so far. And he's using good angles, good footwork, and he's peppering on that lead leg. He's getting, he's getting Elder to think about that lead leg, and then he's coming to the head. But you know, Elder's. Ramos does a nice job of catching the kick of Goodrich and pushing him against the cage. Both fighters are in the over/under position. They both look very relaxed. I have to say that Goodrich is getting more of the striking game. He's getting more punches off and landing more shots. I don't believe Ramos is connected on a shot yet. He, ha he hasn't. He's gotten deep into those single legs, but he hasn't been able to finish them. That's got to. It's got to be a little demoralizing or a little bit difficult. Like, what does he need to do to get this fight to the ground? Shedrick's just shucking him off. The demeanor of, of of Ramos is that you know he he does seem to be comfortable. I don't think he's having an issue with where he's at right now. He's doing in the waiting game, but you know how long can a fighter wait? And how many shots can he take? until you change the, uh, you know, the, the, the atmosphere and the dynamic of the fight that you're in. So um, both guys clinched up, as I said, they probably would be. And uh, now they've released, and we'll see what kind of striking. And that left hand again from Goodrich, a lead left. And you're not even seeing Ramos moving away from the, the, the lead leg. Nice uppercut there. Now Ramos has woken up a little bit. I think I answered my own question there, Jackson. It look, looks to get the pace of this fight. Nice, uh, nice seatbelt on the hips. But this is in a great position. Shedder can, can work his way back up to his feet as well. So, you know, is Ramos able to get this off the cage, nullify Shedder's ability to use the cage to get back to his feet? But, you know, Shedder turning his hips over and, and, and looking to possibly pop up at any time. Yeah, Shedder put both hands right to the mat, pop back up. He, he did a great job of not becoming flat or becoming vertical and letting Ramos get that dominant position. So, um, you know, actually asking the referee if those elbows are okay. You know, I'll tell you what, Goodrich can lay some, lay some heat. You know, he's got some nice power. I think what I'm seeing out of uh, Ramos is, Elder Ramos is a guy who goes in different gears. He's got first gear, second gear, third gear. And uh, he's been keeping it in first gear, but we saw third gear a few moments ago. Yeah, it's a very efficient way of fighting, but you're rolling the dice because, you know, you, you can't just wait for every opportunity. You've got to make some opportunities as well, so. Do you, do you attri attribute that mostly to guys as a fighting style or a gas tank saver? You know, with a guy like Elder, he's he's got he's got Shedrick Alexander, uh, Shedrick Goodrich, excuse me, 
across the cage from it, and Shedrick's moving around a lot, using a lot of energy, and I think Elder's just, uh, he knows this is a 15 minute fight, and he knows that maybe when this fight gets into deep water, that's where he's gonna pounce. So he's just kind of biding his time. Nice, he may have to like eat some shots, but, but uh, you know, Shedrick looking to slow down just a little bit here. And that says a lot, but you know, he's doing a nice job staying in the outside game with the kicks, but again, I, I, I think that we, we've noticed that you know, Ramos is a guy that's going to go in, in different gears, but you can't stay in first gear forever. You know, and it's really tough for somebody like Shedrick to fight a guy who's shifting gears like that all the time because you never know yep. when it's going to come slow or it, when it's going to come fast. And it can actually start to make you a little um, a little hesitant when you're throwing because, you know, you, you don't want to put everything on it and then take it, have, have that taken advantage of. But nonetheless, I think Goodrich is doing a nice job of maintaining a bit more of a steady pace, but uh, Ramos is looking for a big shot. Yeah, I got, I'd be careful with Ramos. He slip into the, to his rear side, slip into the right, and he's slipping right in the trajectory of that head kick that Chedrick is fond of throwing. So, you know, I, I hope, hope he's aware of that. Spinning back fist attempt there by Ramos didn't pay. Now he catches that kick again. I think Goodrich has got to start thinking that, you know, that's something that Ramos likes to do. I'm a big fan of catching kicks as well, so. Nice step, wow. That's the most impressive. Uh, what a body lock, what a body throw there by Ramos. And I think we're seeing third gear, but I think that I think we just heard the 10 second mark in the fight. So uh, that, that should cinch him the round. That was that was huge. So where does that leave us, Galka? Did he know did he know there, that there was that much time left? That's impressive. I mean, these guys have been in there so often, sometimes they actually do know the amount of time that's left in the takedown that they need to get. I mean, they're, they're tactical. This isn't just a brawl for them. This is a, you know, this is their profession. This is their trade. They're skilled. They, they've done everything. They've been everywhere. So a guy like Ramos coming in knows he may be a little bit down on the scorecard. Need, knows he needs to throw it in the third gear, so to speak, to cinch that round. So we'll go to a replay now. Good. Ramos, again, that third gear, huge flurry, changes levels under the punch. Uh, head kick of his own, but but unable to, to connect. And here we go. Here's that big momentum shifter in that first round, that huge trip, that huge judo throw. In inside trip judo throw. Well, great job there by both fighters. Goodrich maybe the best of the striking. Ramos with a big takedown as we enter round two here at XFE 31. Goodrich versus Ramos, our main event of the evening. Both guys are ready to go in round two. Ramos in the Bus Fighters touch gloves. Ramos is in the red gloves. Goodrich in the blue. Ramos keeping that right hand high, knowing that head kick, here we go, uh, coming at any time. Yeah, I think Ramos has kind of, you know, picked it up a little bit. Didn't really seem too warmed up, per se. Mouse under his eye, though. Goodrich has landed some good strikes. I, I think you were spot on when he talked about Goodrich earlier. He's a seasoned veteran. He's got a lot of fights. He's comfortable in there. That kick may have hurt Ramos a little bit. He's wearing a knee pad on that leg where he's eating that kick. So Goodrich may want to go back to that, but he's going to have to keep moving if he wants that to work. You know, it takes a lot of discipline for somebody like Shedrick to, to stay moving, stay, stay out of that firing line as he's been doing. Well, I think he cut him with that kick. Goodrich's doing a nice job of moving. What he's doing right now, Jackson, is he's throwing Ramos off with that inside leg kick with the left leg, and then he's going low and going high. Now, as, as just as we say that, Ramos tries a head kick of his own, but if I can, if I can quote one of, our, one of our favorites, El Wapo, Boss Rutten, one of his biggest things was going low and going oh, high. Wow. Oh, wow. And that cut, he, he is, is wide open. Lit open. This does not look good. Let's see. Uh, I hope they do not stop this. Well, El Psycho is enjoying the blood. He's asking for the crowd to come in. I did mention that when Goodrich hit that kick, he got busted open. So now the doctor's going to come in. He's going to take a look at that cut. Obviously, we're hoping the fight's not stopped and they'll let him go. I can't see how bad it is. I mean, it's right over the eye. That's generally kind of a danger zone. And they call it. Yeah, that fight's called right there. Fight's I over see. due to a, you know, and folks, you have to understand is that the doctor here has a responsibility to protect the fighter. That's a big gash over the eye of uh, of Ramos. I'm sure we can talk about doing a, a rematch. Ramos is obviously frustrated. He's disappointed with that as an outcome. Unfortunately, Jackson Galka, that's part of the sport. We're going to bring you through a replay right now. Uh, that's, that's just a textbook combination. Rear leg to the inside, lead to the head. Uh, it doesn't, that's, 
Like, Beautiful. You know, and I'll tell you what, you know, Ramos is kind of complaining right now, but we were talking about how he really didn't kind of come out of the gate strong. Goodrich came out of the gate strong, and who was the victor that way? He put his time in, and the dividends paid off. Yeah, you know, as I said, you're rolling the dice. If you don't go out there to finish the fight from, from the start, you're assuming the fight's going to go a little bit longer, but at any time, and this is MMA, at any time, you could get kicked in the head, have your face split open, and the doctor comes in and stops it, and, and rightly so. Ladies and gentlemen, on advice from the ringside position, your winner by TKO. One minute and 10 seconds in the second round goes to the blue corner, Frederick Goodridge. Hi guys, thanks. We're here with Shredrick Goodridge. You're picking up your fourth win tonight. How do you feel? I feel awesome. Like, I put in a lot of work. I took a lot of time away from my family just because I feel like I'm a lot better than what my record is. Took a couple questionable losses, whereas like now it's bounce back time and coming back like this definitely felt good. You looked awesome in there. All your kicks were landing perfectly. You hit a couple high head kicks right away. Was that your strategy going into this? I knew I was a longer fighter, so I definitely wanted to use my range. He was doing good at staying away from my jab, and my legs were long, longer than my arms, so I figured I started low leg, and kick, low leg kicks, and I noticed when I'd go low, his hands would drop, so I just start going high and hard, and that's what happened. That's awesome. Such a great fight. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.